Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose Report. I hope you guys already found out what happened uh, at the bragging rights, but uh, uh, so I won't go over that and bore you with it again like you probably already heard. So anyway, I'm going to continue where I left off. Uh, despite widespread uh, speculation about Brock Lesnar returning to WWE to wrestle the Undertaker at WrestleMania 27 in uh, April, UFC President Dana White says it's not going to happen. Anyway, it's because former UFC uh, heavyweight champion is still under UFC contract. Uh, the Undertaker and Brock Lesnar uh, had a face-to-face -face confrontation Saturday at, uh, after UFC's uh, 121 pay-per-view following uh, Lesnar uh, UFC heavyweight title loss. Dana White says Brock is still under contract with UFC. He's not going to wrestle in WWE. He can't not wrestle, box, or fight anywhere else. Unless, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, he said uh, there remains the possibility a Lesnar could appear in a non-physical capacity. Uh, but so far, there's no word out yet uh, in Lesnar's camp as to whether uh, he'd be interested in working uh, with WWE again. And as long as that's right, he'll be there. Democrats, <laughs> this is strange. Democrats in Col uh, Connecticut uh, brought in Michael Benoit, the father of Chris Benoit, to speak out against WWE and Linda McMahon at a press conference. Benoit says he was there to uh, change the industry that is out of control. <clears throat> anyway, Benoit uh, later said Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon have one reason that motivates them, and that's money. Benoit also said uh, everything that uh, McMahon's do is based on public relations, not only uh, the reason that women want to go to Washington is to uh, protect the dollars that WWE makes. So she, he's saying there's a, uh, something behind her wanting to go, which is true. Anyway, uh, the head off any attempt to regulate their industry, says Benoit. Linda spoke to reporters short, shortly after Benoit's press conference and said the motive is clear on why he was speaking out. She says, I think, uh, well, she's done with the who she's running against, Mr. Blumenthal, uh, has uh, really tried to focus in on only uh, saying that WWE does not treat its performers well. Uh, well, in fact, uh, WWE treats its performer incredibly well, and it wants to make sure that those men and women in the ring are protected, she said. I can truly understand the pain of a father who uh, not only lost a child but a son, uh, who was involved in a hideous crime of killing his wife and son, McMahon said to, to reporters. I understand that his feelings are bitter, sad, wants to find an answer, and would like to also find someone to blame. Ooh, I don't think this is going to go good on either. Oh, well, we're going to have some fire going in Connecticut here. Benoit responded, maybe I come off a little uh, as a uh, bitter father. I'm determined to make a change in this, in, in this industry so we don't have to uh, have people dropping dead at the age of 30. Hmm. All right. War of words. Starting to ramp up. Let's get towards uh, Election Day. All right. And a revelation to uh, TMZ Hall of Famer Jerry Lawler revealed that the uh, top Hollywood actor Jim Carrey spit on his face during the filming of Man in the Mood, uh, Moon movie. Uh, Lawler claims Carrie was very upset over the fact that Lawler would not pile drive him and uh, break character, uh, re uh, resulting in Carrie spitting on Lawler's face. Hey, I know <laughs> Lawler's been had, had a lot more on his face than just spit. I know that. Anyway, we got another wrestler who's going to be getting into the movie business. This time, you're going to believe this. It's Fit Finley. And it's the focus. Uh, he's going to be the focus of a new film from director Ronan McClowski. Uh, the film is a documentary and the look into Irish wrestling in general while focusing spe spe specifically on Finley's family. Fin the Finleys is the name of the film and it's uh, on completion. It's going to be airing on Satana uh, in Ireland, whatever that is, and uh, BBC in UK didn't know that. As reported though, Undertaker is expected to take some time off because of shoulder injury. He's, uh, he will be getting looked at uh, this week and it is thought that he may be ready to return maybe around Royal Rumble time to kick off the program leading up to WrestleMania. 
Uh, it's also thought Punk, uh, CM Punk, may have injured his hip or back last night. But turned out it was all right. Death Phoenix should be returning to SmackDown uh, in the next few weeks. The building looks close to being sold out. Now I'm talking about the building that uh, Bragging Rights was in. Uh, other little highlights from Bragging Rights is that uh, Daniel um, Bryan was very over with the crowd. Uh, Cena received a huge pop and was booed during the tag team match, though. Undertaker was overly huge uh, on uh, uh, the crowd response. And the crowd hated the finish, though, to uh, Kane Undertaker match. CM Punk uh, received uh, absolutely, uh, or rather, uh, R-Truth received abs absolutely no reaction. Uh, it's something to do with that song, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they want to listen to the words. Or they just don't like it. CM Punk, though, was over, and the crowd loved the Illumination match, especially the finish. Uh, Randy Orton was more over than anyone else on the whole show, and good heat for Nexus. After the show, Orton did hang around and continue to pose for the cameras. Now, <clears throat> believe, that, believe it or not, this was the original scheduled uh, win for uh, bragging rights. The plans were changed due to... Uh, uh, Undertaker's injury problem though, but Undertaker was planned to win. It was reported recently that Taker needed some time off his shoulder surgery. Taker reported uh, as a, uh, I guess he's got a torn uh, rotator cuff and will have it operated on, but still, you know, hasn't confirmed when though. Uh, but he was, uh, they changed it probably just a few days, I would think, before uh, the show. As seen uh, last night, WWE did the Buried Alive match uh, finish with Nexus attack at Undertaker, uh, allowing Kane to get the win. This was done in a way to protect uh, Taker's image as he has already lost to Kane on two straight pay-per-views. Uh, no hold barred uh, at the Night of Champions and Hell in a Cell match. So they didn't you know, want to really ruin Taker's reputation too much. By the way, Former WWE performer, remember Perry Saturn, uh, Bill Irwin, he was also known as the Goon, and Greg Gagne, they were backstage visiting uh, former colleagues at uh, last night's Bragging Rights pay-per-view in Minneapolis, Minnesota, believed to be uh, Perry Saturn's first wrestling-related appearance since 2004, which I think just about a year or so ago, they thought he was dead. They didn't know whatever happened to Perry Saturn, and boom, he showed up. He don't look too much like he used to, though. I don't either. The former uh, WCW uh, World Tag Team Champions seemingly uh, disappeared from public view for a number of years as his family and friends and three ex-wives reportedly had no information to his whereabouts. Three ex-wives. I got two up on you. They know where I'm at though. Furthermore, due to the fact that he missed the uh, funerals of two of his good friends, Chris Candido and uh, John Coronas, the funeral of his uh, mentor, Killer Kowalski, some speculated he may be dead. However, it was uh, reported last November he was found alive and well and residing in uh, Minnesota. Undertaker, by the way, is featured on the cover at Hell in a Cell's, uh, WWE's Hell in a Cell DVD, uh, set to be released November 2nd, which I think is next Tuesday, week from tomorrow. Alright, uh, NBC's Marriage Ref Reality Show is seeking couples. Mark this down. Take a note of it. You might want to be in it. Anyway, the Marriage Ref, which I've never seen, reality show, a TV show, is seeking couples that are WWE fans for a WWE-themed episode on Season 2. The show features married couples' problems and then judged uh, judge by celebrities for uh, before a winner is determined. I guess you got to be really just in horrible shape to be a winner there. Uh... Anyway, considering WWE's relationship with NBC is possible for WWE superstars or divas could act as judges on that uh, particular episode, fans are interested uh, in appearing on the show with their spouse can contact Joe at themarriageref.tv. Down here at the bottom. It's been confirmed, by the way, that Team 3D has signed, believe it or not, a multi-year deal with TNA. Oh, I guess I'm out of time. I guess, uh, I gotta go.